Hello and welcome to another short video. So I just recently showed you how simple it is to create and deploy a smart contract uh, that it doesn't take a lot of time at all and I showed you that I was able to do it in 30 minutes with even some errors and how simple it is. But I, some of you might have heard about Tech Leads Million Token and I thought I would create a follow-up video regarding the source code, how hard it was to create that. And I didn't look at it that deeply into it at the time, but it is being it is being marketed as, op as open source, so we can might as well just look at it and see the co code here. And yeah, that's the, where the interesting part starts. So we can start here. If we just look at the code, in uh, overall the code, the contract contains 526 lines of code. And now let's find out how many lines of code actually originated originated from Techly. So we can see here the first part here is not his one, it's just the context.solidity file here. This one is uh, from this repository here and it's lying at, what was it, context tutors, utils and context.sol. And down here, that's like I said, it's the first part, it's not his one. Then let's go on, we can see here there's the context define. Then there's the interface of an IUC20 token again, that's from, from that one here, it's not his. Then we can go on to the next part. We can see that the IUC20 metadata class is again not from originate, doesn't didn't originate from him again. It's also from this GitHub repository I just showed you. Let's go on here. Then what else is there? The EUC20 standard. So like I said, that's also not his code again. That's again from um right. That's again from this file again. There's the EUC20 standard, but okay. And now let's see where the additional code from him originates. So yeah, again, he used a 20 burnable. Again, it's from here. Let's go on. So like I say, we can do this all the time, but that's where his work started. So here is his contribution to code base. So that's what he did. That's what he programmed. And you might be able to guess how long it somebody takes to program it. So you can see here, he creates his million token. It, it, it is being derived from the user 20 pr preset fixed supply. And this is, like I said, again, not from him. This is from the, it's from that one here again. So from this GitHub repository. And I can see that his contribution were, like I said, these four lines of codes here. Or if you want to, we can say this one as well. So these five lines of code. And that was his creation. So that is what, what he means when he says that he has written all the code himself. And it was that it, the code is super safe and super secure. And there will never be a bug in it. But actually, how can there be a bug in five lines of code? It would be like... So obviously there can be a bug in five lines of code. But this would be like a new record if you're able to somehow implement a bug in just uh, uh, making a, constru a constructor call. So there's not even code which is even prone to break or something like that. You can see here there's just a constructor call where it, where it gives when the contract... So like I say, we can also just copy it and deploy it on a testnet to quickly show you that. Um, so we want you now, oh, well, I could, why not? You know, let's quickly deploy it, why not? So, like I said, so, yeah, why not? So let's quickly do that. So we will just be using the test nut now. We can just go here, we can just add a new contract, let's call it, like I said, we already did that, let's call it SHT token, uh, uh, that's solidity. Then we'll just copy it and paste all of that, and now we can just uh, ent uh, enter whatever SHT token and just enter here the shortcut is ACHT. Um, then I will just, yeah, then you can just decide which, what supply I want here. So like I said, it's that's 10 to the power of 18. So you can define how many uh, places it should have. Um, yeah, so you can also define that here. It should be only one of those. Let's say this one token, why not? Uh, yeah, that's it. So basically these few lines here, uh, yeah, test token, SHT token, right? And uh, then, like I said, all the entire source code here is from that one here. And I might as well just also remove. Okay, so might as well um, add it. Okay, right, that one here, and there's the constructor call. So that one here, uh, right, we can also add the 18 zeros here, why not? Okay, right now we've got also the 18 zeros. I hope I didn't make a counting mistake here. And uh, yeah, it's done. So now we just can com compile the source code. Like I said, these five lines of code, yeah, it, it works. Uh, whatever. Then, uh, so let's see if the compiling is done. 
Ah, okay, yeah, because I already have one uh, SHG token 2. I will call it SHG token 2. Why not? Okay, my bad. So I probably already named one SHG token. So my bad then. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna rename it SHG token v2. So this is my SHG token v2 then. Hopefully, can I, yeah, it works. I just compiled it, I think. Uh, okay, this should be fine, hopefully. So let's go there. We have my SHG token v2, and then I will quickly have to, uh, yeah, well, we can now deploy it. I will just do, compile it now. To, let's deploy it. So we'll be using, yeah, just use the VM here. Deploy it. Ah, wait a sec. So SHG two token. That one here, my bad. Here. Right. And it's deployed. So now my SHG token is deployed in the virtual machine here locally. And you can see here, wow, I did it. I just created a my own token. So it's, it's all right now it says MM. Oh, right. Oh, uh, this is one of a different one. Wait a second. Okay. Like I said, we'll add the SHG token. Then just add ST or SHG, why not? And like I said, just enter million here and now deploy it again. I just have to deploy it again. And it's done. So we can see here in my SHG token, where there will be only one HSG token, a great thing, and it has eight in decimal places that can be used for microtransactions. So like I said, it's super duper easy. Like I said, five lines of code, just uh, copying all of the code here, and then just creating your own custom, um, yeah, like I said, use a 20 token. And that is not that hard. So I hope you are always aware that anybody can create a token or it's but it's also the same for issued currencies so if you buy for example those issued currencies in the extra ledger make sure that there's an actual project behind it because it's also very hard to create an issued currency so always know that and with that i end this video so thanks for watching and see you in the next one